Hello and welcome to Wardens of the Cross. This is the Defender. The Mass is the greatest prayer a Catholic can offer. It was created as a celebration of God's justice, benevolence, and to pay him the due he is owed for being our merciful creator. However, despite its beauty and the fact that it gives glory to God, there are many arguments and debates about the Mass between even Catholics. Since there are two forms of the Mass, there are some who argue that the newer form is not a valid Mass, while there are others who argue that the traditional Mass is too outdated. While there are various arguments which favor different forms of each Mass and the different rites, there is a metaphor for the Mass which can help to explain it and make it more understandable. The coin is an appropriate analogy for the Mass in many ways, which is the goal of this episode. In this installment of The Defender, we shall see the many ways in which a coin is a perfect equation for the Mass. There are two different forms of the Mass. One is the older Tridentine Latin Mass, and the other is the new Novus Ordo Mass. There are many extremely radical Catholics who believe that the Novus Ordo is not a legitimate Mass, and does not fulfill the Sunday obligation. This comes from a misconception that the Church has never and should never change or add any new forms of the Mass, which is not true. The Mass is a liturgical rite, which is designed as the highest form of human worship to God. It is the closest thing we can have to heaven while upon earth. While there, there are two forms of the liturgical Mass, the Tridentine rite and the Novus Ordo rite, they are both designed to give glory to God, and they both contain the consecration, which is the only thing needed to officially make a Mass legitimate. They are two forms of the same liturgy, or, as we shall put it, two sides to a coin. One can certainly argue that the Tridentine Mass is more beautiful than the Novus Ordo, as the back of a quarter is typically more decorated and beautiful than the front. One can argue that some parts of the Tridentine Mass are more polished and refined than the Novus Ordo, as some parts of a coin are more decorated and designed than other parts. However, people cannot question the legitimacy of both the Tridentine and Novus Ordo Mass in their foundational duties to give glory to our Creator. They both contain the consecration of the Mass, and each was created with the ultimate intention of giving the highest earthly form of praise and worship to God, as is His due. The Mass was, figuratively speaking, minted and pressed, especially as a coin, for humanity to give in tribute to God. As people pay the government its due in taxes, so should the people pay taxes in glory to God through attending the Mass as to give him his due of glory for having made all things. Like a coin being paid in taxes, no matter which side of it we offer up to God, it is still worth as much to him no matter which side is being handed to him first. Each side of a coin is equal in value, and in this reasoning, the Novus Ordo is worth just as much in glory and praise to God as is the Tridentine Mass. The Mass is a coin which is offered in tribute to the Lord. We must attend a Mass each week to show our love to God and to thank Him for our existence. It is a tax we should happily pay. There are many Novus Ordo Masses which are similar to rusty coins and are poor tributes, but this does not make the Mass as a whole any less legitimate. The Novus Ordo and the Tridentine Masses both are legitimate tributes to our Lord. There is a Sunday obligation to worship the Lord, and one Mass is as good as the next. The two forms of the Mass are simply two sides to one coin. No matter which side you offer, our Creator receives the same amount of glory and praise just for your thanking Him for your existence. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you agree with what you heard in this content, give us a like. If you have a comment, question, concern, or anything else, please feel free to comment below and we'll get back to you. Subscribe and hit the bell to stay up to date on all of our most recent content, and go to the link shown on the screen to check out our website at www.wardenofthecross.weebly.com. We hope to see you again. God bless.